you pleased with what you've shown so far this season? Yeah, I'm happy. Um, you know, I feel competitive in my at bats. Um, you know, it's it's not. I think I think we're all chasing perfection a little bit, knowing that it's never going to come. But um, you know, I've been I've been happy with the competitiveness of my at bats and the competitiveness of, of uh, my two strikes approach. And um, you know, it's 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 led to some results early. And I just want to you know kind of keep keep working to get where I want to be. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. We'll take the next one from Ken Davidoff. Hey, Mike. Just wondering if the uh, the fans standing outside the ballpark with the air horn and the and the cowbell, if that registered with you guys at all? I mean, you could hear it. It was pretty loud. Um, you know, I, uh, Philadelphia is known for having a pretty passionate fan base, and uh, those guys, you know, want to find a way to support their team, even though they can't be in the stadium. And uh, yeah, that's how they you know, chose to show their fandom tonight. Thanks, Mike. Take the next one from George King. Mike, off the off the bat, did you think Voight's ball had a chance to get out? You know, I, I never, I never really can tell anymore. My priority was, um, you know, any anything in the gap, I, I was ready to score. So, it sounded good. Um, you know, it was a good swing. Luke's a strong guy. He definitely has, uh, you know, power to all fields, and that includes right center. So I just wanted to make sure, no matter what happened, that I was going to score. Thank you. Take the next one from Marley Rivera. Hi, Mike. Uh, obviously, because of the nature of this season, you've all had to make adjustments. How do you think this season has impacted your strength as a ball player the most? Um... Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's a good, good answer. Good, uh, it's a good question. Um, you know, I just, I think that um, preparation becomes extremely important. I think um, finding ways to slow things down and simplify yourself. You know, there's a lot of distractions. Um, there's a lot of, you know, new rules and, and, and just diff little different things. But um, I, think, I think if you prepare yourself, uh, every single day and you know that way the something's going to come up and sneak up on you and surprise you but if you prepare you know the, as best you can you can kind of limit that thank you take the next one from eric boland hey mike given everything that's going on are you uncomfortable at all going to florida um i am not um I understand that um, that's, you know, kind of a hot spot, but I feel that the protocols that um, the team has put in place and I feel like the lengths that uh, we're going to as a group to protect ourselves are going to keep us in good shape. And uh, I'm a pretty boring guy as it is. So I spend about 90% of the road trip in my room anyways. So um you know, doing things like, uh, you know, cleaning the surfaces in your room and just making sure stuff's wiped down, um, that remains a priority. But other than that, um, I feel confident that, you know, Tampa, the, uh, the Tampa Bay team is, you know, going to take care of the stadium and we're going to be great at the hotel. And, um, you know, we're going down there to win some baseball games. Take the next one from Jason Hill. 